Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the problem B from the latest code forces RAF round 1. So problem name is belted rooms. So as you can see there are different rooms here and like there are different belts connecting these rooms. So like uh, the first statement is the rooms are in circular manner as you can see and they are indexed from 0 till n and like the if there are 4 rooms so 0, 1, 2, 3 and 0 again and there are different belts in between. Now the belts can be of 3 states. It can be of uh, or it can be on and it if, and if it is on it can be either in the clockwise direction or in the anti-clockwise direction as you can see this belt is off so like you can move in both directions because it is off Bo same for this if this belt is clockwise as you can see it is clockwise so now you can only move from 1 till 2 in this if you are in the 1 room then you can only go to 2 room same for this if you are in the 3 room you can only go to 2 room and that's the whole problem now the question statement asks you to tell that whether from any room you can go to another room and come back whether there is some possibility like how many rooms are there in which you can start with any room go to any other room and come back to that room again now for this like start for this example only if you are in this room you can go to this room and come again for same for this you can come again but from this if you go in this direction you cannot come again because see if you cannot move in this direction and same you cannot move in the direction from this you can go to this direction it is fine and you will reach room 2 but now you cannot come to room again 1 so I hope you get the point how you are telling that so for 0 room if you start at 0 room you can come to this again for 1 room you can go to this room and you can come again for 3 room you can go to this room and come again but for 2 room you cannot go at any position and thus the answer is not you cannot go out of this room so the answer is three rooms are there in which you can go out of this room and come again okay so now you are given the states as you can see if it is dash the belt is like the belt is not working this arrow means that the clockwise direction this is anti-clockwise direction this is like again not working so as you can see it is uh, shown in this so now you are given the belt situations and then you have to find out how many rooms are there in which you can do the same i have told you so now what you can do in this problem is you can first draw it out okay so make it a circle these are the rooms okay now what you can observe that okay first thing is if everything is dash then like you can room like walk around with every room so if everything is dash then it is fine now if everything is in one direction if everything is like you are you can go clockwise then you can see you can go from this room to this room though you cannot come back but you can do a round circle and come to this room and for every room you can either go from this room to a round circle and come to back to this room i hope you get the point and even if they are all anti-clockwise then it is also fine also if there are some clockwise and some dash some clockwise and some dash then also it's fine because like you can again move around the whole circle and come to the same position because dash means that you cannot like you can fill anything here and same if there are some anti-clockwise and dash so it is also fine in in both like in such situation you can visit all the rooms but if there are some clockwise and anti-clockwise both present then you cannot do a whole round trip a, a whole round trip means that if there is some clockwise as you can see and then there is some like anti-clockwise here then if you go to this point let's assume you are moving in in this direction then you cannot go past this direction because there is an anti-clockwise here you can move in from clockwise direction and because there is some anti-clockwise you cannot move past this direction and thus you cannot visit all the rooms so you can easily observe these properties by just drawing out some test cases okay so now as you can see uh, so now if they all are clockwise with some dash or all are anti-clockwise with some dash the answer is whole else what is the answer so as you can see if there are some arrows as you can see in this if there is some arrows like this or and there is some dash again so if there is some arrow like this like uh, if both of the uh, like as you can see if both of the rooms has either outgoing arrows or both ingoing arrows as you can see if any room has both ingoing arrows or outgoing arrows you cannot like you cannot come to this room again because see in this type of situation, I have already told that there is no complete circle. So 
in only complete circle you can come to back to this room but if there is no complete circle i'm assuming that this doesn't have complete circle it has both clockwise and anti clockwise directions and any room has both outwards okay or like both inwards outwards or anything like that then you cannot come to this room again you can only come out of that room you cannot come in because to come in you have to come like you, you have to do the whole circle again i hope you get my point because see if there is one room there is one path to go out or to come in if you go out to of this room or come into this room there is only one path you cannot do this again and thus to come come to this room again you have to do a whole circle but that's not possible so if any room has a non working or like an off rail or conveyor belt then only you can move around these two rooms i hope you get my point so that's the whole logic you have to find out the number of dashes because in dash you can freely move around these conveyor belts but see there is one more point as you can see i drawed some big conveyor belts so now till now i have get the point that okay only if there are some continu continuous dashes then only we can roam, roam around let's assume that there is some uh, rooms as you can see like this then if there are four conveyor belts then how many rooms i can visit 1 2 3 4 5 5 so if there are four conveyor belts then i can visit five rooms then let's, let's assume that these are off state then there are some uh, like cl clockwise Uh, conveyor belts. Then there there are again some continuous stretch of dashes. There are again some four or like three dashes. So in these three dashes, how many rooms you can visit? A uh, four. And in this, there are four dashes, so you can visit five rooms. So I hope you get my point. My point is that you have to find out continuous stretches of dashes, because these dashes will tell you the number of dash plus one will tell you how many rooms you can visit. Because the continuous dashes. Are the continuous stretch of rooms you can visit. So as you can see, these are connect, continuous stretch. These are connected, so you can move from this to this to this. You can come out. But now, if this is clockwise, okay. Now and so this room is again connected to some some dash, so you can move around this room. But for this room, it has one ingoing, and if there is again one outgoing or ingoing, as you can see, then this room is not possible. If there is again one dash, then it is possible. so you don't have to just count out the number of dashes but the continuous stretches of dashes which will tell us that okay this continuous stretch so these all rooms are connected so that's the whole logic i'll take down to the coach like drawing board or, or sorry the code so this is the code take down bit of n which is the length of the string and the string itself then a and b is the number of open or closes or like clockwise or anti clockwise directions so move around the whole string and count out how many clockwise or anti clockwise directions are there if anything is zero which means that okay it means that all or clockwise or all i anti clockwise or everything is dash which means that there is only one type of thing so then the answer is just whole you can visit every room else what you can do it means that both clockwise and anti clockwise are present then you have to find out the continuous stretches of dashes so gap how many dashes are there total then move around from left to right if you see out some dash then increment the total whenever you find out that there is no dash there is some clockwise or anti clockwise direction you find out that okay if there is some continuous dashes i have found then the total is as i have told you uh, gap is the total gap means how many numbers i will present is equal to total plus 1 because you have to find a total stretches of dashes plus 1 as i have told you if there are four dashes then the total number of people in this group is 5 because five rooms can be connected if there are four conveyor belts and that's it uh, and then again after adding how many total uh, stretches of dashes are there we will make the total equal zero and then again after doing this whole iteration there is one last point so have to do this again and there is also one more thing see let's assume that because it is a whole circle i am counting out a continuous stretch of thing let's assume that there is one continuous stretch then there is some clockwise clockwise and this this anti clockwise anti clockwise and then there is again some dash so you will count this as one point and this as another uh, stretch but no because it is as you can see it is connected this is circular this is actually a whole stretch this is actually a whole stretch i, I hope you get my point so you have to consider as a it as a whole this is not different so because for this stretch you have counted if the length is 3 you have to count it as 
and this again you have counted as four but now you have to count it as, as a whole so the thing here is you have to if they are counted as whole you have to subtract one from the whole thing i hope you, because see if they are one two three four five six this is six plus one which is seven but i am actually taking is as four plus four which is eight so you have to subtract eight minus one which is seven because i'm counting this as double so i have counting uh, like people double twice like i have counting one people as here and one people as here but actually this people and like this person this person are same because it is circular so if how we can check that if uh, in this whole series if the first and the last are both dashes then it means that it is a circular form so that's what i'm done if the first and the last character are both dashes then, then we do a gap minus minus and that's the answer is just gap gap means how many per, like how many rooms are there which can connect it and doesn't and we can do the same thing i've told you like we can move around these rooms and that's the logic for this problem i hope you get the point if you still have enough mentioned down thank you for watching this video also next time keep coding bye